Welcome again to Bispo Kevin Tech Labs. Today I will demonstrate my new electronic project. This is a soldering station and I made this out of a 30 watts cheap uh, soldering iron. This one over here. And uh, this box here is a controller. This is uh, actually a PC power supply casing with the guts out of course so uh, the controller will read the temperature from the tip of the soldering iron and uh, it will display it on this 16 by 2 character display LCD and uh, with this potentiometer here I can set I can select uh, the set value that the set temperature that I want the soldering iron to operate and uh, according to this value and to the value that it reads from the tip of the soldering iron the controller will turn on or off the resistor, the heater of the soldering iron this green LED will flash every time that the program makes a full cycle just to indicate uh, that the controller works and this red LED will be on when the heating resistor is on and I chose to control the heating resistor with the triac rather than RLA for many reasons okay so the temperature is acquired by by this uh, thermocouple here I use a common K-type thermocouple like this one over here this is a K-type thermocouple extension wire and you can see some very interesting experiments that I have made with thermocouples if you go in my YouTube channel or if you go in my homepage and what I have done is I stripped the wires of the thermocouple and I used only two wires these are the two different wires that I used I made the hot junction like this and I put it through a hole that I made on this point here I don't think it's visible here there is a hole here and goes right above the tip of the soldering iron and this gives me better readings more accurate and uh, also I have faster response to temperature readings so let's see it in action when I turn it on you will see this is the tip temperature it's 29 degrees right now and this is the set point this is 150 I can change the set point with this um, potentiometer like this it goes up to 468 and this bar here gives me a, a visual display of the temperature for example, I set it to 320 degrees there as you can see the green LED blinks and this means that the controller works and the red LED is on and this means that the heater on the soldering iron is operating you can see here that the, the, the temperature of the soldering iron rises rapidly so we are getting close to the set value at 320 degrees and let's see what will happen ok you can see the red LED there indicates that the resistor is still on 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There. Now the LED is off, but the problem is that the temperature will still rise. This is normal because the heater does not turn on and off instantly. So the same will happen now. It's with the temperature goes down. It has gone to down to 316 and will go to 315, 314, 13 and that is also normal because the heater does not go on instantly although I power the heater to turn on the temperature does not rise neither uh, falls instantly so uh, Uh, I need to change the firmware on the PIC with another firmware and I will convert it actually to a PID controller. And what's a PID controller? That's a very interesting method of controlling, uh, for example, the temperature like here. And uh, the PID comes from the letters P which goes for proportional I that goes for integral and D that goes for derivative and each one is a different uh, parameter uh, for controlling the temperature for example the proportional the first letter the P is uh, called also the gain and this is a value that uh, it's multiplied with the error For example, the error that we have to here is 3 degrees. The error is the value that we wanted, as you can see here. We, we, we had set to 320, this is 316, 15, so the error now is 5 degrees. This error multiplied by the proportional uh, value gives the power that will be transferred to the heating element this is the P the I, the integral is um, another uh, parameter and uh, this parameter uh, will actually read the errors over time all, uh, uh, for all the time that it operates and it will generate another value that will be added to the proportional value and this will actually eliminate completely the difference, the error. And finally the D, the derivative, is uh, another uh, parameter that some controllers do not have this parameter. These controllers are called PI controller and not PID controllers and this derivative or uh, rate it's also called rate it's another parameter that when the error is very large for example here now I change the value I make a large change here from 320 I go to 150 this is a very large change And when there is a, such a large change, then the derivative parameter takes place in order to achieve the value in a faster time, to have faster react to large changes. So, but I needed to study more about PID controllers. And until then, I will only try to decrease the power delivered to the to the soldering iron by switching on and off all the time and not like this this is always on now that's all about my controller thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects